Ask Reddit by Sad Potato BTS. What's an unwritten rule about the road that new drivers should know? Try to give other drivers as much information as possible. Always use your turn signals, even in a turn lane. People have no way of knowing if you're actually about about to turn or not. Yes, it helps to reinforce the facts. Not everyone is paying full attention, simply seeing your blinker automatically informs them that you are in the turning lane and will be crossing their lane when able. It helps establish what's actually going on or about to happen. When I first passed my test, my dad said to me assume that everyone is a terrible driver who is trying to kill you. Don't cut corners. I've nearly had head-on collisions because people can't just slow down a little and turn into the lane properly. This and if you're on the outside of a double turn lane, turn weeied so the inner turn lane doesn't have to crash into the median or you to make their turn. Keep your cool. Road rage kills. I was a passenger during a road rage incident and the other car was shooting at the car I was in. Luckily, neither of us were hit. I'm still afraid of being in a car, sometimes. Speed up to match the speed before you try and merge onto the highway. Let me add one more thing. If you are in the last lane and you know the merge is coming up, don't get pissed off when cars are trying to merge and drive faster to not let them in. Deleted. I know a lot of people do this to warn of police radar too. Always leave yourself a way out. My mom taught me this as we live near a rough neighborhood. Keep enough space between you and the car in front for you to get the fuck out of there. Merging onto a highway interstate should be a very active process. Try to match the speed of traffic and fit into an open slot. Don't slow down to crawl and wait for a wide berth. I see way too many people do this shit slowing down. Actually the only thing that tilts me on the road. Green means legal, not safe. Assume everyone is a moron trying to crash into you. This right here. People routinely blast through the light where I take a left out of my neighborhood. Like turning red, red, then a pause, then my green and I'm not even on the gas right away that light has been red for quite some time. Always know what's around you. Know what cars are behind you or in the lane next to you. That way, if you feel you have to change lanes quickly you know whether you can or can't. An old boss of mine used to put it this way. On the road, there's five people you need to be aware of at all times. The guy in front of you, the guy behind you, the guy directly to your right, the guy directly to your left, and the guy that comes out of fucking nowhere. Don't be nice. Be predictable. What this means is, don't slam on your brakes to let someone else go, drive predictably. My mom got into a terrible accident because someone was trying to be nice and waving her on to turn when they should have gone and someone behind them went around and crashed into my mom who finally just decided to turn because the guy was being too nice. Assume everyone else is an idiot. Like Homer Simpson says. Everyone is an idiot except for me. Edit, as someone pointed out, it was Spongebob mocking Squidward. Homer says stupid, not idiot. Don't trust a turn signal. But also don't trust the absence of a turn signal. For the love of God, turn off your brights when you're behind someone else. IDK if it's just me, but a lot of modern cars have headlights of Satan's anus. It is physically painful in my eyes to drive at night for me now. Be predictable. Assume everyone else is unpredictable. Drive defensively. Going into a ditch, at an angle so you don't plow head on into dirt or rocks, or going off the road is generally preferable to a head on collision at high speed. At all costs avoid a head-on with a large vehicle like a dump truck or transport truck. It's almost certainly going to be fatal for you. Anti-lock brakes, large modern vehicles and snow tires and four-wheel drive are safety features to help you. 
it does not mean you can drive in all weather conditions without driving for the conditions. I have known people who had very expensive subs who are also very dead because they drove fast in bad weather. Above all else don't drive under the influence. You may not just kill yourself you may end up killing others. Wear a seatbelt. Treat driving as a privilege not a right. The graveyard is full of people who had right of way. When I had my driving lessons, my instructor drilled it into my head that, when you have the right of way, you don't check to see if someone's coming, you just go. Because you have the right of way, and you should just assume everyone else will respect that. He would actually get frustrated if I checked for oncoming traffic. Guy was an absolute idiot in many ways. The car with the most duct tape has the right of way. And you haul trucks. Chances are the guy driving a U-Haul truck is driving a vehicle much bigger than he is used to, hasn't had enough sleep, and is having a long day. Leave the house 10 or 15 minutes early. And if you can't, remember it's better to be late than dead. If your wipers are on, your headlights better be on too. A light tap on the horn is a heads up and not an F you, so don't take it personally. I did some anecdotal testing of a theory. If you do a single short honk or a long honk at pedestrians, they look for what they did wrong. If you do two quick honks, they start waving in your direction, assuming someone they know is saying hi. If it's raining put your goddamn lights on. No matter the time of day. Correct me if I'm wrong but isn't this a written rule? At my old job I drove a box truck or a large cargo van. The thing about these vehicles is that they're huge and they take a long time to break. You have to start braking in advance. Additionally I have no view out the back. What this means is that if you ride my ass and I start slowing down and you crash directly into the back of my truck your BMW will probably be totaled and you could be injured but my truck will be mostly fine. As far as insurance goes. Good luck because it's registered to my company who will fight tooth and nail to suck you dry of your money. I won't suffer any consequences, and I didn't even see you in the first place. So don't get super close behind trucks. I was taught if I can't see both your side view mirrors I'm too close if you have to stop. Don't let your tombstone read here lies the man with the right of way. People don't follow the rules, so be careful. As a motorcycle rider I learned that as, the time to dispute your right of way is not when you are under the truck. If you find yourself driving in Boston, find a safe place to pull off, and call yourself an Uber. Have your car towed out of the city, and never try to drive here again. Please trust me, it's not worth it. As someone who lives, and occasionally drives, in Boston. I propose this same rule be applied to most of Rhode Island. Assume everyone else is uninsured, on a revoked license, drunk, high, with stolen plates on a stolen car, and an armed road raging maniac. If I flash my lights towards you and we're in a well lit environment this means your high beams are on and I'm blinded by the lights of a hundred suns your car is targeting me with. Also turn your damn high beams off when driving behind other cars, my car's internal light works fine I do not need extra interior lighting. Flashing your lights off and on at night can be used as a reminder to someone who has forgotten to turn on their headlights. Flashing your headlights can also be used to warn opposing traffic that they're approaching a police officer looking for speeders. Daytime driving lights are not night driving lights. OMG so many people never turn on their lights at night. It's terrible. They think their daytime lights are their lights. Always ignore other drivers or bicyclists when they wave you on to pass, or to go through an intersection, or merge, whatever. You cannot trust them to see everything, you have to look if it's safe with your own eyes. Even if someone official waves you on, do a quick check. Also, if you want to wave someone through a stop sign make sure you have limo tint on all your windows.
then slam the accelerator in frustration because nobody listened to you. Be careful when opening the door after parking. Always look out for cyclists, other cars and buses. Zip emerging is your friend. Don't be a dick. Follow the pattern. This is true of the FKNG McDonald's drive through too. Even if it's green look both ways. There's no shame in being the slower car. I've got pride, and a Jeep Wrangler. It handles like the Red October, just get out of the way and be slow and it's fine. If it was meant to be fast, it would not be brick shaped. Always and I mean always. Turn down new music volume when you are attempting to locate an address number or street sign. Can't see anything through all that noise. If somebody lets you through, you must raise your hand as you pass them in thanks. Reminds me of when I was 15 and my mom yelling wave to her after someone let me through. If people cut you off, let them go don't you push it. My saying is that the laws of physics don't care about the right of way. Don't compete with the jerks on the road, because if you do then everyone loses. If you live where it snows by the damn winter tires, it could save your life. And clear your damn car off, not just some tiny area on the front window. Clear the roof and everything. Get a snow joe if you have a minivan or truck. Use your goddamn turn signals. Before you touch your brakes, not after. It's a written rule. But stop at a red light when turning right you have to stop before the line. This is how pedestrians get hit. It's a red light so they're crossing the road, and some idiot driver who's coming in at speed stops after the line at the same time a pedestrian is crossing the road. Hits them. Stop before the line. Crawl past the line when it's safe, to get a better view of oncoming traffic on your left. Turn right when it's safe and there's no pedestrians. To add to this, look both ways when turning right on red. Lot of people get run over because drivers were looking left for cross traffic, and completely forgot about the portion of crosswalk in their path. Lots of other countries ban right on red because too many drivers suck at this. It's written, but let's reiterate that the passing lane is for passing. I typically don't get frustrated while driving anymore. But the other day I was third in line behind a police officer doing 60-65 in a 75, where most people do 80-85, right next to a truck on a paid tollway. I paid $12 to go 10 miles per hour under the speed limit for about 10 miles. There had to have been 30 cars in line behind us. I haven't been that pissed while driving since I was like 21. If I was doing that, I bet he would have pulled me over. As someone just learning how to drive this is a really good thread. Put your phone away and keep your eyes on the road. You are operating a 1000 plus pound machine that has no issues destroying flesh and bones. Distracted driving is as dangerous if not more dangerous than drunk driving. Kind of Houston specific but don't look at other people at red lights. People are fucking psychos behind the wheel and it's best not to engage with them. Edit, check it out y'all. I know distracted driving is against the law. Spare me. OP seems like a new driver looking for advice so I felt the need to emphasize that. Relax. I couldn't agree more. I have a terrifying tale of looking at someone on freeway once and smiling. The much older man followed me and was flashing money at me and followed me off freeway and continued to yell at me to get attention at stoplight in a industrial part of town. I was young back then and was so scared. I made an illegal right turn from a driving lane to ditch him. I have my share of weirdo tales. If someone is tailgating you and you truly feel uncomfortable speeding up, simply move over and let them pass if it is safe to do so. It isn't an ego thing, you are not lesser for letting someone pass you. You never know the reason someone may be speeding, and if you're not a cop, it's really not your job to regulate speed limits. On this note, if you see someone doing something unsafe, 
get out of their way and let them. Better that they eventually total their car against a light pole, than in a collision with you. If you are on the zoom zoom lane you should go zoom zoom. And if a car is zooming faster than you, zoom to the other lane at a responsible rate so they can pass. If the sun is right in your eyes, look at the bottom right corner of your windshield. You'll be able to see the road line still if you do this. Similarly do the same with oncoming bright lights. Tailgating is just stupid. Just stupid? It's insanely dangerous too. In reference to turnabouts, when you're next in line, look to the left. Is anyone coming? Yes. Then yield. No one's coming? Then fucking goo The rule is to yield to cars in the roundabout. Not stop for all cars that may exist within a roundabout. If the vehicle, in the roundabout, is across from you, it doesn't affect you and you have a safe gap. Too many people wait for the entire roundabout to be absolutely clear of all traffic. If you are in the left lane, go faster than the right. Do not match pace and for the love of god not slower. You will piss everyone off. Also don't try to pick up speed once you realize someone just passed you. The left lane is for passing, let them pass before you pick up speed to match. Always pisses me off when I try to pass someone just for them to suddenly decide to match my speed so I can't get back over. If you're hydroplaning, don't slam on the brakes. If I go out of my way to let you merge, you better raise your hand in acknowledgement of this selfless act. Edit, riddle me this all you nerds who clearly can't take a joke or haven't ever driven in a city before say there's two lanes of traffic. A car up ahead has their hazards on, I could keep going, or I could let the car next to me over. That's when a courtesy wave is appreciated. Cut it out with the merging is a law shit lol. Reviewing our idiots in cars ought to be mandatory before getting one's first license.